Hello kings and queens, how you doing this morning or this evening or it might be at night when you watch the video. I just want to come to you and speak on we must save and protect our children. Why? Because they are after our children. Society is after our children. Government after our children. All this perversion they're letting slide by or go by before our faces someone must stand up and i'm going to be one of the people that stand up we must protect our children all this perverted music all this perverted videos uh this rap music of whoever this little nas is nasty nasty video naked video dancing naked we must protect our children they're after our children they're trying to pervert our children before they get the age of five and you know it's it's nasty or it's starting at five in kindergarten we must save our children see christ has a word and verse in here on how he will deal with someone if they mess with one of these children and i'm going to go to matthew 18 and 6. i only have a couple of verses for you on this matthew 18 and six, Matthew 18 and six, and it reads, this is Christ speaking, but whosoever shall offend one of these little ones, which believe in me, it were better for him that a milestone were hanged about his neck and that he were drowned in the depth of the sea. I'll read again, Matthew 18 and six, but whosoever shall offend one of these little ones which believe in me, it were better for him that a milestone were hanged about his neck and that he were drowned in the depths of the sea. Now you see how strongly Christ feels about a child if you did a child wrong, what he will do. This is an example. This is nothing compared to what he's going to do to them in heaven or after death in eternity hell. It's going to be torture. You're not just going to be in fire. It's going to be more torture towards you. The much torture that persons or men or women, whoever done is doing to children, you're going to be tortured in, eternally in hell. You're not just going to be in the fire. You're going to be tortured. Worse than what you've done to these little children. Christ means business. And I'm so glad that he means business because People who molest children and sexual harass and molest children, they think they're getting away. No. On this earth, you're going to God, God going to deal with you also. But, but after eternally, you're going to be in hell, being tortured by the demonic demons. You're going to be tortured terribly. Spears in your genitals. It's going to be a lot of torture towards you. But this is an example that Christ wrote and he's speaking in his words how he's going to deal, it's a warning that how he's going to deal with men and women who have sexually molested children and feel like they're getting away with it. I have one more verse in scripture and it's coming from Psalms 127 and 3. Psalms 127 and 3 and it reads, the low children are an heritage of the Lord and the fruit of the womb is his reward. I'll read it again. Psalms 127, verse 3. It reads, Low children are an inheritance, are an heritage of the Lord, and the fruit of the womb is his reward. What does the Lord mean when it says the children are heritage of the Lord? What do heritage heritage mean? Heritage mean heritage is a person unique inherited sense of family identity which is the values traditions culture and artifacts handed down by previous generations we absorb a sense of our heritage throughout our lives as we observe and experience the things that make our family unique that's what inherited, inherited 
is, it's a sense of family identities, a personal unique handed down. That's what the Lord mean by heritage. The children is the Lord's heritage. But going back to protecting the children, this world is awful. We're living in the, so much of a perverted world, a sexual perverted world. That is terrible. The government wants the world to become freaks and geeks. But no, people like me and you, people of God, must stand against this. And I will stand against this. Because there's it's people out there wanting to deal with children, wanting to have sex with children. Some of them want to have sex with babies, and that is so just disgusting to me. These men and women need to be tortured here on earth and at the earth. Oh, the Lord will deal with you and deal with them. If you're one of the ones are doing this to children, you're looking at this video. The Lord is going to deal with you here on earth. And oh, after earth, after you die, you're definitely going to be tortured eternally. The people of God, we must stand against this perversion against our children. They're after our children. We must stop it. We must talk against it. We must, we must stand against it. Let's stop being quiet. They're after our children. It is so wrong. It's getting worse and worse every day. So I'm going to speak more and more about it every day. I'm going to also form an organization against children to protect our children. Kings and queens, we must stand up against this. It's terrible. It is so terrible. But Christ speaks and warns that he is going to deal with these people. It's best for whoever you are to hang a milestone around your neck and throw yourself into the sea. That's what Christ said. You will be dealt with if you're watching this video, if you're a perverted man or woman who's dealing with children. Kings and queens, we must speak up against this. I just want to come to you and bring this to you. Stay blessed and I'll see you soon.